Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Prices are kind of mixed overnight. Beans down about a penny. We've got uh, corn and wheat up, and most commodities are higher, and U.S. dollars a little bit lower. Yesterday, the USDA said that the U.S. corn crop is still rated 68% good to excellent. Uh, beans went up one percentage point at 65% good to excellent. And spring wheat harvest is 77% done versus the five-year average of 61% done. We also saw that export inspections for wheat continues to run behind the pace needed to meet the USDA numbers, while corn and beans are pretty close to the numbers, and, I, and we'll be watching all three new crop sales to see how things are kind of unfolding. Yesterday, uh, the USDA announced a plan to send uh, almost $4 billion to U.S. farmers. Uh, it's quite a bit of long laundry list of people on how much they're going to get, but the biggest amount is uh, for soybeans at a buck 65 per bushel. Um, this is only 50% of the projected production, and they'll revisit uh, prices down the road to see if they should send another 50% out uh, to farmers. There is a limit of $125,000 per producer. So uh, we'll see what kind of impact this is. I think most um, analysts are gonna tell farmers, sell your beans now, Add the buck 65 to your cash prices, and then move forward. Um, you know we don't know what the limit is as far as the timeline is concerned. We also don't know if there's a resolution to the plan, whether you're going to have to pay this back, or if they stop future payments. So take advantage of this now. We did a little bit of work um, and said, okay, let's say if we plug in pro farmer soybean yield and We've got now a carryout that could be as big as 800 million bushels or bigger in the U.S. Next year, uh, we'll need to plant 9 million less soybean acres to get the carryout back down to 400. So uh, that may be the function of the soybean market between now and next spring to try to push prices lower relative to corn and wheat to see if farmers switch that many acres. Weather-wise, uh, rains across the Midwest the next five to six days. The 11 to 16 day calls for average temps to return to the Midwest, average to um, above in the south, and below average rains in the plains, and maybe average rains across the Midwest. Overall, uh, this is still a good forecast for much of the Midwest, um, not a great forecast for the southern plains, um, and we'll just kind of look and see uh, how this unfolds as we go into the fall weather for harvest. United States and Mexico agreed on Monday to um, a trade policy uh, that offered support yesterday to the livestock market and also a little support underneath the corn market. So now we'll see if Canada wants to talk um, about joining this agreement uh, for the three countries. The um, <clears throat> other news is the five best states as far as crop conditions are concerned, Nebraska, Illinois, Ohio, Wisconsin, uh, the five states that show the crops being the worst, Missouri, North Dakota, Kansas, South Dakota, and Louisiana. As we go into the um, last of August for the soybean crop, the best soils, temp moisture levels are in Indiana, Ohio, Arkansas, North Carolina, Nebraska, and Kansas. The driest soils, again, Missouri, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Louisiana. 10% um, of the corn crop is below trend yield, while 74% is above. And 14% of the soybean crop is below trend yield, while 63% is above. Um, there was an article out of Brazil Reuters did a survey of 2019 Brazil soybean acres. Looks like it's going to be up 3 million acres to 9, up 3% to 90 million acres. It's the 12th consecutive years in which Brazil acres have increased. Prior to this, the average increase was 5% per year. Um, so they said that the uh, cost of production is going up 10%. But the real has declined 23% so far in 2018, which adds to the price that the Brazilian farmer gets for his soybeans. So all in all, uh, maybe a quiet day, 
people trying to get their hands around this new payment and the impact it's going to have on the soybean market. We'll be watching the export sales program, we'll be watching the cash markets, and technically the funds uh, right now are still um, net short beans, soybean oil, uh, corn, and long wheat, and meal. And we'll just kind of see how they want to adjust those positions. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.